So last video, we started to get back into Adobe Modeler, which I haven't touched for about a year. I'd taken a break, as I mentioned in the last video. Um, and what we did was the first stages of designing a dragon. And this one is now getting into the um, secondary forms and really starting to work out the, 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 the details of the surface. So we've done the primary forms, now the secondary, and then we'll get on to the detailing. Um, just to note that since I made these videos, there has been a new release, so there are some new features. If you want to explore Adobe Modeler uh, and you have got the, the subscription, then head over there and update or make sure you update. So let's dive right in and take a look at where we get this week. Okay, so let's go and work out the, the next bit, which is we want to get some, uh, you know, a bit more of this detail into this creature. So um, we're on we're on the dragon head, so the, which is the body, and we're going to increase the, the, the resolution a little bit. And we're just going to work on some of the primary shapes. So we want, we know roughly what, it's a dragon, so we, we know we want a dragon kind of snout kind of a dragon eyebrows cheek looks a bit like a horse here at this part and then you've got some lips that come down here and around the back so like a dinosaur like so and what we could do is say right at this point what we probably want to do is split off that jaw um, so let's come all the way back here and then maybe come around here to give it a nice big cheek like so and then these horns probably want some volume in them something a bit more like that and then smooth them down at the back so we've got them a bit sharper and then maybe a frill or another spike here something like this see how it looks quite triangulated there that means it's still quite low resolution but at the moment I wouldn't worry about that you know it's it's giving us the shapes that we want we're not doing any of our final detail here at all Let's stick an ear on it. We always have a nice ear on a dragon. Like so. Bit of, bit of volume behind it. Um, I always do like a cow ear, but you can do any, anything that you, you feel works for, for the design. Um, have a look at it from the back. It's looking fine. Make that frill a bit more. And then a bit more definition down the spine. Probably going to do some kind of spin. Uh, scales or something down there eventually um, and then maybe just a bit more spike suggestions here on the jaw so there you go there's a nice dragon head very very quickly so quite happy with that so let's move on to the neck and we want a little bit of sagging skin here um, so we can go in and then smooth that back down comes down here to this part here which is where these muscles here basically let me just delete a bit more there so we want big strapping muscles that come up here on a, on a human this would be this particular one here would be what's called the sternocleidomastoid what we want is the big strapping muscle that comes from the top of the collarbone on us now a lot of mammals a lot of dogs and horses don't you know the or dogs and horses don't have collarbones here um, so you have to decide with you know whether you think you need it in your creature or not because it'll be a different you know shape this is much more like a dragon is much more like a bird in my eyes so so it has this big keel underneath um, that, that would help us to uh, you know basically it, it attaches these muscles here um, to the bottom which means that it can pull basically pull down those big wings and really sort of like you know really make you feel like this thing could fly so you want a big chest big muscles here coming down to it you know to, to, to this lower part of the chest here and it's got these big pectoral muscles that are going to be pulling these huge big wings down so that that all looks pretty good already we've got a nice bit of volume there maybe that neck needs moving a bit so we'll use uh, we'll use the um, warp tool here and we'll bring that neck down a bit there and make his back a bit bigger like so 
I love that you can twist. I absolutely love um, um, that you can grab the clay and twist it like so, that. So, so there you go, and then maybe twist his head a little bit like so. So again, remember these. Oh, we've got some weirdness going on there. So we'll go back to clay negative and just get rid of any of that weirdness. So. That looks cool. So we've got a nice shape going off there. Um, pretty much happy with that. Now let's just go back and do a bit more work on the wings again. So first of all, we'll use the warp tool and we'll bring the wing skin back down here. The muscles of his, um, there you go, the muscles of his deltoids up there. And I probably would like this down a bit but I like to show the leg so I don't really want to do that I don't really want to go any further than that so just pull this out a bit and then smooth it back, oop too much like so just move this one back move this one back like so and then smooth these down and then we'll increase the resolution on really high now so now with that resolution when I smooth it it's now going to really it's going to take ages to smooth it but this will give us a nice finish on this edge so when we pull it now it's going to be um, with the higher resolution when you're pulling the mesh around you'll get you'll be able to pull the skin tighter and I, that won't really mean anything until I show you now. When you're pulling it around at the lower resolutions, you can destroy the mesh more. So you'll see this looking more skin-like now. So now, back to the, the, the pulling now, and you'll see because there's a bit more geometry there, to, or, or more voxels more importantly, you can get a much cleaner definition. You can see there, they're not getting destroyed now. So doing your spikes now is easy. So you don't try and do that until you're at this level, you know, and look how it looks like it's folding cloth now. Actually does look like it's, you know, it's, um, you know, it, it, it's actually moving cloth around for your or, or wing membrane in this case. So that's, that's the reason we don't do that till now. So that hasn't really changed um, in, you know, in, uh, in modeler from medium that was always the case in that so if I now move this up you'll see it's flattening it down and if I move this up and this up and this up you can see how thin that's getting so you don't try and fight that when it's low resolution you only so you only solve that issue when it when you know when you when you're here now in the higher the higher voxel settings and if you want to arc these down a bit like that so that's pretty cool so looking good there happy with that so let's move on to the legs and we'll add some more um, so these remember these now are two separate so you got two separate legs so that that horrible thing there has got to be completely fixed in fact I want to do that one first because I've just remembered how bad this was so Let's go in here and add the internal muscles that, that that were lost with the with the mirror, but that quickly that quickly solves that one. That's looking good. And then under here, so this is where it goes to his back of his thigh there, so that's all looking good. Lost volume on his calf, so let's give him a calf back. And remember these are under tension, so there would be lots of tendons getting tight because he's gripping onto this rock so everything needs to be taut looking so these muscles will be you know bunched really you know really under load so I'll come down here and then smooth it off at the top underneath bunch muscle again so that's looking fine look out what a mess I made with the with the toes there so we'll smooth them down and we'll go and we'll increase the resolution there you go so this is now high res now you can either paint these toes in or you can take a something like the capsule and you can drop them in um, like I'm going to show you now so I'm just smooth these down a bit so 
um, at the moment I'm still painting look still basically moving it along but what you can do is change that to single again and you can if you hold down the little cube button there you can extend the length of that so what you might want to do is just stamp them down like that so you've got much more control it's up to you do both of these switch between them if you if you want that's giving me what is really the the, the, the details of the foot so it's giving me these these tendons that are going down to the toes they're looking okay now so now I need the toes so first digit second digit last digit and then a claw so first digit already there second digit third digit and then there will be a claw so first digit second digit third digit and a claw so that now has given us a really nice little dragon's foot um, and when I say claw all you need to do there is just add a sphere on the end of each one so um, like that that and that and then go in and pull that so with the warp tool you just need to pull it down like so just pulling it around and then let's just make sure the volume of the foot is right looks good quite looking like it's gripping on it needs to be moved around a bit but at least we've got our volumes right now so you know it's looking like it belongs there now a bit more definition on here might be good um, on the on the outer side of the thigh and the inner side of the thigh but yeah that's that's nearly there um, and now we just need to do the same on this one or you what you could do is you could flip that one over but um, We'll, uh, I'll, I'll leave this one for now because I don't want to just spend too much time on the same things. So let's go back onto the body. So click on that and then just make sure we've got enough um, detail down, going down the spine here. So um, make sure single is off, which I keep forgetting to do. If I know single actually benefiting it was at this point so we're doing it as if it scales but then we're just going to smooth them down so again working in our favor really because we just want some nice some nice detail down the center of the spine Sting single is still on which is where the problem came then but oddly I don't mind it I think it actually worked out in our favor didn't it and then once we've done that, then turn single off and change the shape of these again back to spheres. And then we'll add some muscles either side of that. So these would be, I think they're called spinalis. This basically the muscles that, that, that surround the, the spine there at the top, the other vertebra at the top. Cannot remember the name of those at the moment, so. And then just something down the tail that will be smoothed down, but to, just something to give us a little bit more of an indication that this is the top of the tail. I don't want this dragon to, I want it to be much more sort of like, more like a, a Komodo dragon kind of skin. I don't want it to have like really harsh scales. Just want it to have quite a smooth set of scales. So this is really just to show us that we've got something at the, the top there. So and the bottom is just in need of a little bit more. Now that rock, uh, I could move the tail over or um, we could move the rock over whichever you want, but at this point it doesn't really matter um, you, you could easily turn symmetry off like so and just use this and just angle that tail like that but that means you can't then work symmetrically 
Now that looks great, looks better aesthetically, but it means we we you know we we we're, we're going to have to not work symmetrically at all now. That 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 is it now. That's that's how we you know that's pretty much how how we're going to be for the rest of the sculpting on here. So I don't want to do that. So I'll I'll undo that and we'll keep that tail nice and straight for now. Because the next stage is let's just make sure we'll have a quick pass over it and just make sure we've got everything lined up that we want so the wings can go down a bit more here something like that that looks fine and the claws that the bottom is still symmetrical on the wings so that's fine um, so maybe we just want to adjust that head a little bit so use the warp tool again we just want to bring these up a little bit more so I wish it didn't affect the other areas there so I want something like move topological in um, ZBrush where it doesn't affect the other things like so so these are only minor tweaks now because I think we've got the shape that we want the, I mean it, we say dragon but it's actually got only um, you know two wings and two legs so technically it's a wyvern not a dragon so um, Let's just noodle a little bit of this so obviously we haven't done that back foot and there you go so let's just take our headset off and have a quick look at it on the desktop um, oh before we do that I don't like what I've done with the head there so I'm actually gonna go back I've just noticed on the side it looks those horns didn't work um, so I hadn't picked up on that so I've just gone back um, but there you go that's that's done now so yeah so let's take a look at this in um, uh, desktop mode so I'm going to take my headset off so I've got VR hair so apologies for that not that you care I wouldn't imagine so holding down alt um, you can see now I'm just going to roll everything around oh I seem to have gone upside down with this so um, that's something that I didn't realize I'd done so I'd actually made the whole model upside down so if I do a uh, shift and click all of these and then I'll just rotate the whole thing the right way up like so and I'll just move it above the floor like so so it'll still be symmetrical in VR um, but it's the right way up now so if you just go on to the, the, the desktop mode like this alt will allow you to pan around rotate zoom in and out um, you know if you're not holding alt you won't get anything um, and then there's a, a mode here I do like to have a look at so you just go view and then capture mode and it's nice because it gives you a little bit of shadow so I do like coming out of VR and just having a look at that to see if it's working see if it's reading well um, in terms of the you know the, the, the design at this stage so again we're only we're less than an hour in and we've blocked out everything you know, you, you, I, I absolutely could could take this to, to you know to another program in this exact state as it is now. Um, so it's you know it's it's nothing. You know, it's, this is where the power of VR really comes into its own. So blocking out a character, blocking out a creature, um, as fast as that is 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 one of the ways I do it a lot. You know, everybody has their own way of doing it and their own preferences. So what we'll do is we'll export that out again. Now we'll save it and export it, and then we'll move on and do some detailing. I hope you liked the video, and if you do, please give it a thumbs up, as it does help us to get in front of other people who like this kind of VR content. And if you liked it enough to give it a thumbs up, then why not subscribe to the channel, and I can let you know when we upload new videos, which is every week.